will never, never do something like that. The mother of the man behind the vicious causeway attack defends her son as new video of the moments leading up to this horrific encounter is released. The mother of Rudy Eugene, the man who chewed off much of the face of a homeless man and was then shot by police, says her son is not the monster he's being portrayed to be. Plus, new video has just been released of how this bizarre attack began. Our own Glennon Milberg joins us live now from Miami with the details. Lori Calvin, you can imagine around the world in the headlines, Rudy Eugene is a zombie. He's a monster. He's a cannibal. But to his family, he's a human being. He's a brother. He is a son. We talked ex extensively with that family today. They have their own ideas, their own theories about what happened here on the causeway. And they asked, because of all of this publicity, that we not show their faces. I don't believe he would walk up there butt naked at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and nobody see that. I know my son. Tell me about him. Woody will never, never do something like that. Rudy Eugene's mother and family insist the accounts make no sense. You don't believe him? No, I don't. Somebody kill him and they just go and they dump him. Eugene's family believes he was a victim of violence Saturday, that someone dumped him at the base of the causeway, and he came to, frightened and threatened by the homeless man near him. When you were awake, you like a confused patient, like you confuse. Whoever you see, you go and fight. Miami police believe Eugene was on Miami Beach for the party Saturday, but apparently had his car towed. They say he hiked the three miles of the MacArthur, shedding clothing along the way. Unclear whether at least six cameras along the causeway documented that walk, and still unclear what sparked gruesome violence at the end. Do you think there was a mental illness component? No. Not at all? No. No. Do you think he did some kind of drugs that made him that way? I don't have to tell you the truth that I don't know. Mrs. Charles does remember his 2004 arrest for threatening her. Your husband called the police and you told them he tried to kill you. He was threatening to kill you. You were afraid of him. Yeah, because he was, he was hungry. But not so Saturday morning, says his brother, when Eugene left his girlfriend's home in Miami Gardens at 5 a.m. He seemed pretty calm with what she said. He woke her up tell her, you know, I'm going to leave now. I'm going to go see one of my friends. He gave her a kiss. Uh, I love you. And he left. From kisses and I love yous at 5 a.m. to what police call this gruesome scene here on the causeway nine hours later. Lori Calvin, there are still so many dots to connect from toxicology results, from Eugene's blood test to the surveillance video, from all of those cameras that may show something. There's so much we have yet to know. How soon before the toxicology results come back, Glenna? Typically, those take at least a couple of weeks, so it hasn't even been a week yet. Glenna Melberg, live for us along the causeway. Glenna, thanks a lot.